What's going on YouTube? Today I'm showing you my Dan Wesson model W12 aka the pork chop chambered in 357 Magnum. Now they call this particular model a pork chop due to the barrel shroud coming down to the bottom of the frame right here. Now Dan Wesson was the grandson of Daniel B. Wesson of Smith & Wesson and I'm pretty sure he was like the quality control manager wasn't too happy with the way things were going so he decided that he would start his own revolver company and that's all he produced was revolvers so one of the only revolvers I know of ever produced that had an interchangeable barrel this particular model had three sizes two and a half inches four inches and six inches and due to the design of the barrel they say it was extremely accurate because the barrel gets screwed into the frame right here barrel shroud goes over and then a barrel nut goes on so the barrel is actually being drawn from both directions and something about that made it extremely accurate another unique feature of this revolver is that the cylinder release is on the crane instead of the frame like you'd see on most revolvers so you can just bring that down with your thumb right there bring the cylinder down extremely smooth cylinder this revolver is double action only and it does have one of the smoothest double action triggers that I've ever shot. There is only one cock on this revolver. There is no half cock. So if you want to spin the cylinder, you're going to have to hold the hammer back just a hair. Overall great gun. This is an early 70's model. One of the first 3000 produced. I think they made this model until 1971. Then they went on to like the model W15. And I think that went up to about 15 inches in barrel length. Overall great gun though. I picked this up off arms list for 400 bucks a couple years back. And uh, I'd say she's appreciated well with the climate of everything nowadays. They definitely don't make revolvers like they used to. The quality just isn't there. I'd like to find the, uh, the barrel pack for this so I could have all the barrels in the tool for the barrel nut. Found a new old stock leather holster for it off eBay. This is made by a hunter. Fits a couple different models. This is the 4 inch barrel and it fits it perfect. You could use it for the 2.5 inch barrel as well. Overall, great gun. Uh, from what I do read, though, you want to try to get one of the earlier models that was made in Monson, Massachusetts, as compared to the other factory when they moved locations. Just because the machines were a little bit older then, quality control wasn't as good, the tolerances wasn't as good on the machines, and so just the earlier models, they say, are a little bit better, a little bit smoother. Definitely have to take a deer hunting one day. If I can get the six inch barrel for it. This has walnut grips on it, target grips, pretty large. But let me know if you want to see some more videos on it. Maybe I'll take it to the range, shoot it for you guys. Show you how nice of a gun it is, how smooth she shoots. So, just showing you off my Dan Wesson Model W12, aka the Pork Chop. Peace out, YouTube.